Hi collectors, time for another Mad item review. This is the Mad Magazine card game, so let's take a look. So it's brought out by Parker Brothers in 1980. Uh, it's for two to six players and ages eight to adult. Uh, number 724 of the Parker Brothers, I assume. I'm not exactly sure who did the art for this. Um, probably looks like a Freus or a Ricard to me, but I'm not quite sure. There's only one word for this game. Zany, daffy, discombobulated, frenzied, wacky, strange, warped, absurd, nutty, ridiculous, bizarre, exciting, furious, goofy, loony, balmy, screwy, vengeful, fevered, delirious, fanatical, manic, nadacious, obsessed, insane, klutzalicious, inane, demented, fantastic, quirky, foggy, embocious, peculiar, unconventional, nincompoopish, cunning, silly, goozy, Idiotic, senseless, batty, vacant, frivolous, nonsensical, ludicrous, preposterous, wackyola, dopey, outrageous, wacka wacka, bird brained, cock eyed, extravagant, hilarious, ek, odd, garbanza, erratic, and all of the above. And there's only one way to win lose your cards without losing your mind. Wow, that was a mouthful. So, with this game, it'd be very similar to the board game in that. It's like Monopoly, but in reverse. You have to lose all your money. Um, so let's have a look. I don't even know if this is a complete set. Probably isn't, based on that amount of cards. But you will see these items come up occasionally, and it'll be like a deck of cards. And sometimes people will say this is art, or you know, say it's some ultra-rare collectible, when it's not. Now that I think of it, I think it's actually Jack Davis's art um, from memory. Like for that one and, and this one definitely look like Jack Davis pieces. So I have a wild card, that's absolutely a Jack Davis. So I take all that back, it was definitely Jack Davis. Great artwork on these cards. Some blank cards, don't know what that's about. Okay, so I don't get any instructions there, so I don't know how to play this game, never played it. Uh, if you have played it, maybe put that in the comments below. Um, and if you can tell me what the blank cards are about, that would be interesting as well. Alright, that's all for this video. Oh, one thing with this card game as well, I did make it in different languages. I believe you can get a Swedish version, maybe a German version as well. I'm not quite sure, I don't have any of those, I've only got this one. As always, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so, and we'll catch you next time.